So friends, welcome back to Digit Talk and another session of Ablogic Troubleshooting. In this session, we are going to cover how we can run the garbage collections manually. So I had a discussion with a lot of engineers and what I felt is that most of the engineers most of the time are confused if we can run the garbage collection manually or not. What is the way of that one and what is the requirement of that one? If we are saying that we uh, can run the garbage collections manually, then what is the need of that one? Okay, so garbage collection is a process which clean your heap size or your JVM memory whatever the allocations we have defined to our managed servers so whenever the garbage collection is run automatically by the jvm it clean the dead objects or unused objects from the heap and then make a uh, further room for the processing right so just it's a, just a clean a process for the jvm heap size okay so it is managed internally as well right but if you want then you can run it manually as well okay if certain time you feel that the heap utilization is very high or you are feeling certain kind of a slowness in your application and your heap size is continuously showing in the upward directions okay it is not coming down or or you are in the mid of any kind of a troubleshooting so okay for that time you can run the garbage collection manually okay and then you can monitor what is the effect of that one what was the uh, heap utilization before you ran the garbage collection and what is the amount of memory that get freed right when you run the garbage collection it help you to uh, do certain kind of a curing for your heap size as well okay because if you are uh, continuously seeing the garbage the heap utilization is very high and whenever you are running the garbage collection you are seeing that the much memory is not getting free right so that means you have a certain kind of restrictions on the jvm heap size so that means you have to tune your heap size you have to increase your heap size or maybe if if you have a garbage collection which is running frequently that means your heap size is not sufficient there are multiple pros and cons and multiple combinations of certain this kind of scenarios okay so specific to this video what we are going to cover is how we can run the garbage collections manually okay so in previous sessions we have covered uh, how we can uh, take the thread dumps heap dumps okay and gfr as well in this session i am going to upload very shortly okay and then in this we will see that how we can run garbage collections manually okay so for this again i am going to follow this troubleshooting lab from the digitalk okay and this lab is available with the other lab documents along with the weblogic handbook 250 plus pages weblogic handbook and around 24 plus uh, lab documents which is available on very bare minimum costs if you need that one you can write to me on digitalk.fmw.gmail.com okay we will send you the details of that okay and let us begin with the process to understand how we can run the garbage collections manually okay so we have some different ways we we can run it from the admin console and then we can use the wlst or uh, jcmd command as well to run your garbage collections manually okay we'll see all three all three options by executing okay but before that one what i will do is uh, to show you the execution from the command line i will uh, bring up my machine okay the logic machine which is running on amazon aws ec2 okay so let me start uh, my machine first right and then we will see the how we can take the run the garbage collections manually right so i have initiated my machine it will take couple of minutes right to come up okay so enable the login and in between let me go back to my document and show you the different ways to take run the garbage collection the first option is you have to run you can run it from the uh, console as well okay for example if you would like to run it for some of particular managed server in the screenshot you can see that we have selected the sova server one right that means we are going to run the garbage collection for sova server one so if we have multiple servers are running right if you, and you would like to run the garbage collection from the console okay then you have to go to the each and every server one by one and then you go to the uh, monitoring tab inside that go to the performance and then you will see a button called garbage collect so once you will click on the garbage collect it will take fraction of seconds to uh, run the garbage collection and before you click on the garbage collection you can check the current heap free okay heap free current what is the heap free free current before you run the garbage collection and again once you will click on the garbage collection after that you can again monitor the heap free percentage okay it has to be increased the free percentage count should be increased because it will clean up your heap size okay 
Second option is you can use the WST as well, right? For that command is simple. You run the WST prompt, connect to your admin server, go to your domain runtime, okay? And then inside you have to go to your server directory, right? In the domain tree, and then you have to run the command cmo dot run gc. Okay, this is the command to run the garbage collection. So what we have done here is we have uh, went inside the c server underscore one. So this is uh, our managed server. Okay, so we went inside the tree structure of my managed server and then we have run the cmo dot run gc, right? So this will run the garbage collection with the help of wlst for c under c server underscore one manage server third option you can run with the help of jcmd command as well which is very straightforward first you have to grab the process of your servers take the process id and once you are uh, with your process id then run the command jcmd your process id then gc in capital dot run okay so these are the three different ways where you can use to run your garbage collections manually okay so let me show you all three options and let me see okay my uh, machine is up and running so let me first access my uh, web logic console so with the help of public dns port is 7001 and then slash console okay okay this will not come up why because i have just bring up my machine but i haven't restarted or i haven't started uh, my web logic instances right so let me open that it will take couple of seconds for me to bring up the machine so i will log into my my user ec2 hyphen user and then my password right and then i will switch to my oracle user right where i have installed the web logic and then i will go inside my domain directory right to start my server so what i will do is i will start my uh dot manager first right if uh, we want to start the manage server from the console we have to start our node manager so i have started my uh, admin server first now i will start the node manager as well right it will take fraction of seconds because i haven't deployed any application is just a plain domain right for demo purpose so let me see what is the output is there it is running right now i will go back to the console right now this will come up okay so i have used this particular dns which is the public dns of my ec2 machine okay and then let me log into my machine and then web logic instance web logic server console right so first we will see how we can take the we can run the garbage collection from the console so as i said you have to go to your environment servers right so as of now you can see that i have only admin server is running there right so this garbage collection option is in available inside your monitoring tab okay so monitoring tab and then if you click on the performance right here you can see the garbage collect so now you can see here what is the size of as of now 221 7627.2 right 221 7627.2 and i will click on the garbage collection and now see what is the heap size for is 2851875.12 okay this is the current heap size okay so by this way you can run the garbage collection from the admin console okay and now let's uh, go back to my manage server if suppose that i would like to run it for manage server as well right so let me first bring up my manage server okay there is a process is same you just uh, need to click on your server then go to your monitoring performance tab and then you can run the garbage collection okay and the utilization that will be showing on the screen when i'm running the garbage collection the uh, the heap size prior to the garbage collection and after the garbage collection is completely depend on the kind of a physical ram we have in your server availability of your physical ram and then what is the heap size that you have allocated so i have a demo machine which is having a very less ram and the higher size defined for my jvms okay so the uh, the percentage of uh, your heap that you are seeing on the screen could differ okay in comparison with the professional or live environments okay so you just understand how we can run the garbage collection with the help of admin console okay so now you can see that this manage server is up and running so go back to your monitoring tab inside performance and then you can see the heap free 5974993834 okay and then once you will run click on this one the heap free is 65 now right so that means the free heap size is now increased right after running the garbage 
collection so it has cleaned the dead objects or unused objects from the heap size so okay, this is the garbage collection how we can run it from the admin console and now let me show you how we can run it from the command line as well so let me copy the public ip and then uh, okay now i'm already there so what i will do is i will control c right and now let's see what is the second option it is with the help of your wst command for that you have to go to the oracle home oracle underscore common common bin directory and there you have to run the wlc.sh so i haven't set my oracle home so what i will do is i will go to that location of uh, oracle and then middleware so this is my um middleware home you can say it's in oracle home so if you would like to go with the command then you have to export this variable export oracle home sorry oracle underscore home equal to this one right now you can run this one right so now this will start i'm sorry okay i will copy this one and we'll paste this one right so it will start that wlst prompt which will be on the offline mode initially when you will connect it right so to connect it with the running admin server you have to give the command connect right this is the command that we give in the wlst to connect with the running admin server right so for that let me give the command connect and then this is my admin user this is my admin password right and then i will give the um private ip of my machine let me take what is the private ip is 172 this is the private ip okay before that one I have to give the colon right and then the port of my admin server this is 7001 okay it will take couple of seconds okay it is giving some error uh user failed to be authenticated so i have given the wrong password maybe let me see what i have given there okay web logic one two three the password is same but the user now is wrong okay so the user is web logic okay and then the password and the url of your admin server it should connect now right okay now what is saying uh hold on let me see there user failed to be authenticated what i'm doing you i'm doing some mistake again and again same mistake okay so let me web logic and then web logic one two three and okay let me see what is the error i'm giving let me see go back to here and the ip address is same let me run this command if it is running properly i could be okay it's not okay fine so let me do one thing let me go to my notepad right and then here i will go to and take the complete content and then let me copy paste it okay right so now it is let me change the course it is something different in windows and different in your linux okay so let me try so this is quotation and now i'm done okay so let me try to run it again okay let me go back to my console and then run connect okay so now it is connected okay so there was a typo mistake in the syntax that i was giving earlier but it is straightforward username password and then url of your admin server okay i haven't specified the t3 they should not be the case but however it was not working but and now it is working right so we are connected with the admin server now right and then where you have to go you have to go inside your domain runtime right so let me go to server and let me go to inside domain runtime so we are inside the domain runtime and then we have to go to the server directory of manage server okay if you would like to see the different directory structure of uh from a wc then you can run the ls command by this way okay and there you will see the folder which is with the name server runtimes okay you will see it here server runtime okay and this is the server right if you go inside the server runtime then you will see a different directory with this kind of a format so let me copy paste this completely this is the syntax okay if, uh, you have to change it according to the name of your managed server or admin server for whatever you are running the garbage collection i am there now right so now i will run cmo dot run i'm sorry this has not taken the copy paste let me go back and take it again 
copy and then cmo.run okay so now you can see that as shown on the screen as well right it is done so that means garbage collection has been done now okay so these are the uh, two ways to run the garbage collection and the third one is the jcmd right so jcmd let me come out from the wlc prompt right and then for jcmd we have to grab the process id for that we have simple command ps hyphen e app and then grab hyphen i and then your server name okay so this will give the process id 2970 so these are some different commands that you can also use to take the process id right if i run this command this will give you the process id here in this command i have given the manage server name right so with the help of ps hyphen ef it will give you the complete stack trace of your command but with the help of this command you will get only the process id on the screen and if you would like to run few more advanced command right so run this one so what this command will do is it will check for all of the web logic server instances running on this particular host and then it will show the name and the corresponding pid if you have multiple servers are running then all be listed along with the process id right so these are the bit advanced command okay so now we got the command which is pid which is 2970 right so now we will run the mm, jcmd okay so i haven't specified or i haven't mentioned uh, configured my java bin java bin path okay so i will give the complete path of my bin directory to run this one so the process id is 2970 hold on so jcmd right and the process id is 2970 and then what is that gc dot run gc in capital and then run in small okay now you can see that command executed successfully that means that the garbage collection has been run for this particular managed server so these are the different ways to run the garbage collections manually so thanks for watching this video and stay tuned for the next video